So in this next video, what we're going to be working on is the reflection of our shot facade onto our timber flooring. So uh, one of the first steps we want to do is just rename that last layer that we uh, created in our last video, which was the right hand side shop. And then what we want to make sure is that all our uh, layers are together for the shop so that we can work with them quite uh, quickly. And we know where they're located. Uh, so the aim of this is to duplicate those shop layers so that we can get an accurate reflection on the floor with those. So first of all, just make sure that you click on your first one, right click, and we're going to duplicate the layer. Now just keep the, the names the same uh, so we can identify them, but this one's just going to be Hype Shop Reflection. Okay, so click and uh, flip vertically so that we can get a, a true reflection. And all you need to do is click and drag on your new layer that we've created. Now it's underneath the flooring because our layer is underneath. So click and drag up so that it is above the wood texture floor. And all we need to do now is uh, distort our new uh, signage of hype uh, so that we're going to get a true reflection uh, for, this, for this door. We don't want it to be 100% in opacity, so we're going to uh, decrease it quite significantly down to about 10%. Remember that it doesn't have to be strong, it is just a reflection. And then we're going to uh, distort it a little bit more, uh, keeping in line with the uh, grain of the timber, just so it is quite accurate. Once you're uh, happy with that, just get rid of any uh, unwanted texture on the floor. Um, so you can see here, just fixing up the baseline that we can still see that edge there. Then what we're going to do is use the eraser tool. Now we just want to get rid of any of those harsh lines uh, that we can see around the edges of that um, hype shop sign. Um, our brush is probably slightly too big so just uh, have a play around with some different sizes and what you're going to do is just gradually erase the sign. We don't want to see all of it um, it's probably going to be quite dominant right towards the base of it with the reflection. Once you're happy with that, we're then just going to move along to our next shop now, which is the new shop. So make sure you click on the right layer, and what we're going to do is duplicate that layer again and just call it New Shop Reflection. So remember, keep the names the same so that we can keep uh, close tabs on those layers. Okay, remember, flip vertically. And then what we're going to do is just click and drag that layer down. Remember that our new shop uh, reflection needs to be on top of our wood texture floor layer so that we can uh, see that properly. And then we're just going to uh, take the time now to just gradually distort this image. Okay, so remember, keep in line that vanishing point and that perspective. Um, it's going to take a little bit to get it um, accurate. You don't have to make it as accurate as possible because remember we are going to be decreasing the opacity quite a fair bit down to 10% again and using the same eraser technique that we did for the hype store. Um, we're going to gradually get rid of any of those sharp lines. So do it as quickly as you can. Uh, just keep uh, tweaking it here and there until you're happy with what you've done. Make sure all your... Um, points or corners line up um, and then reduce the opacity size of it down to 10% which is the next step to do and then what we're going to uh, to do is use that eraser and go around the edges uh, get something quite big because we're going to get rid of quite a fair area of that new reflection just gradually go around until you're happy with what you've done and remember we don't need to see all the way to the ends it's going to be uh, along the baseline that will probably be the most detail in the reflection. So because of um, the uh, hierarchy of where we can see the, the reflection, this hype sign on the left is going to be more dominant than what the rest is as it's quite dark over in the right hand side of the shop facades. So just to finish up this video, we're just going to tidy up our image a little bit more. So we're going to get rid of that extra ceiling and flooring that we don't need. So to start with, what we're going to do is make sure that we're on the correct ceiling layer. So go click that wood texture ceiling, use your rectangular marquee tool, and we're going to uh, make a rectangle around the area we don't want. To increase the size, hold down shift and click and drag. And then all you need to do is uh, click delete and it will erase any unwanted areas that you uh, that you don't need. 
Do the same for the flooring. Hold down the shift key, click and drag. Remember to change your layers though. So we're not on the ceiling layer anymore. We are on the flooring layer. So make sure that you go back to your layers, click on the floor, press delete.